restore to restore a full upper and lower arch that's currently in temporaries and you're in the provisional phase and you're looking to go to finals what i'll do is i'll scan the upper arch and the lower arch with any changes to the occlusion that are, are made or any you know if the patient thinks it's too thick here i'll make all those adjustments on the provisionals themselves and then i'll also scan the opposing arch right and make any changes to those provisionals as needed um, the difference being what we'll do is we'll we'll scan the the whole arch and the palette. You can see I made some changes to the thickness of this area. I'm gonna turn this off. And um, so this is her her preoperative scan, right? With all the aesthetic changes to the incisal edge, the CEJ, whatever else I need or don't don't like. And then I will remove the provisionals, and then I will scan the soft tissue of the palette um, with the provisionals out. So you kind of see like an overlay of the multi-unit abutments in the patient's mouth. So I'll also scan the tissue, which is important, with these scan bodies. I like these six millimeter scan bodies. I think iMetric sells them. There's a couple other companies sell them. So I, I, I like to use these scan bodies as uh, references. And then I'll typically do photogametry. But if you don't have photogametry, you're still fine. You just need a verification jig. So off of this scan, I can make you a verification jig that um, you can 3D print or I'll 3D print and ship to you. And then you can ver you can screw it in the patient's mouth, um, cut it here, and do a full arch pickup impression, and pull out the mouth, and that and then I can pour that on my end and make a verification model. That's pretty much how you do a single arch and dual arch is basically the same thing, but you would do the, this same workflow for the lower arch. Um, so just rinse and repeat with your staff. Um, it's really important on these cases that you do two bytes, one on both sides, and then I always like to take photos. To be able to mount the case in ExoCAD and put it on an articulator, you need a facial photo like this one, um, top of the head, so I can see and try to get it as even as possible. And then we also like to take a, a retracted view. So that same photo retracted, very similar to the situation, I can remount her upper and lower arch in ExoCAD, put it on a pin and in articulator to make sure I get the right incisal edge position and you smile creator to design her smile um, and the more pictures you have you know the better it's going to be but use this to get the ideal lip position to get the incisal edge and also so i can figure out the buccal cord or where to, to flare out the teeth i hope this helps but this is a this is basically my workflow for a full upper on lower arch after the surgery is already completed good luck